Okay. This <laughs> is how I painted Secret Cove. It is so beautiful, too. I just want to be there. <laughs> all right, so I want to tell you about this. First of all, I used uh, complementary colors, and the color of the sky and, and the water will be blue and blue-greenish, and the mountains will be bluish. And so the opposite of that would be, the opposite of blue is... Uh, like burnt, burnt sienna or something. <laughs> so, let's see. Blue. Yeah. Between uh, yellow and and red is orange. So the opposite of blue is orange. Okay. Okay, so those are light orange tones. And they're light, lighter, because of the fact that the sky is lighter. Mm -hmm. the, so the blue is going to be lighter, so therefore the sky is lighter. And it took me so long to try to remember what that was called that it's already up to the point where I'm adding the, the blue sky. Oh, and wow. I used uh, the Procreate app mm -hmm. on an iPad. And so this is digital, yes. Um, I ran out of canvases, so I decided to, <laughs> to do a digital painting today. And, yeah. And um, I, I'm using the dry brush. It's called dry brush. It comes with the Procreate app. I love the feel of the dry brush, the way it looks. I do too. Yeah. Now, right now, it looks like a desert. It does not look like a lake. Mm -hmm. But isn't that funny? That's probably <laughs> what the lake would look like if it dried up, right? I would think so. The dark areas on the right and the bottom are, you know, where the land sticks out. And those will be developed later on. So, so the first thing is to just create a real rough look. I mean, nothing is detailed. And in fact, with the dry brush, Technically, nothing is detailed. When you're looking at, if you're looking at this on your phone, it probably looks very detailed. But the whole picture is 18 by 24, so mm -hmm. it's very, very impressionistic. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. I just, I just love looking at everything that you do from start to finish. I, I learn a lot from that. So, um, what I want to tell you is the the lake, the 80 percent of this picture is water. Mm -hmm. uh, right now you can't tell that because the, the, the underpainting, which I would do on a real painting, um, I put there so that it kind of gives a little punch to the overpainting. Uh -huh. And it works digitally just as well as it works with real paint, by the way. And that's pretty amazing because it really does add that extra something. So on the bottom, the blue-greenish color is where the water will be shallow. And on the top, where it's light blue, and then it will be dark blue as it gets closer to the camera, so to speak, that's um, the deeper water in the lake, Lake Tahoe. This is Lake Tahoe, by the way. Did I tell you that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've never been to Lake Tahoe. I never have either. But I want to go. I have to, uh, what I did is I watched a video. I like to watch these videos where people like travel uh -huh. and they tour around. So there was a lady who went to this beach, and I... I paused the video and took a picture of the TV screen with my camera and I used that as a reference photo. However, you will see some flowers in this picture and those are <laughs> flowers outside of Robin's mom's house. Yeah, <laughs> but they're so beautiful and it fits so well with this picture. So we have Florida flowers uh -huh. at a California scene. <laughs> Whether they grow there or not, I don't know. Gosh. All right. So on the far right, on the bottom, you can see that's that's going to be the beach. Mm -hmm. And then you can see where the water meets the beach, and you can see the land that juts out, and you can see the foreground land, kind of like you're looking down at this beach from a higher elevation. And what I didn't know about this beach, I've never been there either, but there were big boulders there too, and you managed to capture that. I, I, I put a few of them in, you don't see mm -hmm. them yet, you see kind of hints of them. Yeah. But there were more, yeah, there were more mm -hmm. boulders that I painted in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and I like the the haze in in the background. I think that's just that adds so much to. It's a tough thing to learn. Let me tell you, it, it's the, the persp everybody talks about perspective and vanishing points and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But in addition to those lessons, which I I could do a whole video giving my opinion about the vanishing point theory, but mm. but the other part of that is the atmosphere gets in the way of things when they're far away. There's there's air that makes a haze for everything far away, unless mm -hmm. it's a super clear day. Oh, yeah. And even when you're doing art, if it is super clear, 
it probably would be good to just, um, you know, put the haze in there anyway, just to, mm-hmm. for the effect. And you've taught me that too, for the distance of when I'm painting a painting. You said it really makes everything else in the forefront stand out, and it really, really does. It's beautiful. It gives it a lot more depth. So there's two ways to do that. I will tell you my favorite way, and then I'll tell you the other way. Okay. My favorite way is to simply add a little white to the color that you would normally put. Oh. Make it a little bit washed out. Okay. That's the way I prefer. The other way I've seen people do is, after it's all done, to create like a white glaze or something and put it over it. And to me, that would be like a a fix. You wouldn't want to do that unless you forgot to do it. (laughs) And then later on, you wanted to add, um, Mm. you know, a little bit of a haze to the background. So at this point, you can see that the water is not all one color. And uh, there's there's a theory that says that water goes from dark to light as you go to the horizon. And in this case, it's true. However, it is not always the case. In the, in the living room right here, Robin can look at the painting I did a couple days ago, mm-hmm. and the water toward the horizon is clearly darker than the water in the foreground. Mm-hmm. And this, but this is so neat because now you've got those beautiful rocks in there and you've got shadows in the water and then you can actually see some of the underneath of the rocks underneath the water. It's just, I, I just love that. Yeah, that's just, that's just, all I did was take the color Mm-hmm. that the water is and made it darker and then painted in those things. All right, now I'm painting in the flowers that are at your mother's place. Yeah. Here in Florida. <laughs> so Florida flowers in the California scene. Uh-huh. And they had this really, really pretty violet color to them. Do you know what they're called? No, I don't. Um, and so I, I didn't really draw them, you know, perfectly anyway. But that's one. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of them are just kind of scribbled in. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like a whole bouquet right there. I mean, it looks, you know, like they're wildflowers and it's like just growing so beautifully. Time lapse, it looks like they're blooming too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but I do love the trees in California too. I mean, gosh, aren't those beautiful? Those, I think they're evergreens. That's what they remind me of. So this is uh, Secret Cove, in Lake Tahoe. Mm-hmm. Never have been there want to go there now oh i do because of your painting i I really wish i could just immerse myself (laughs) oh look you've got some sunshine going on yep i put i put a little bit of a bright spot in the sky thank you for noticing that Mm -hmm. and then the reflection of that bright sky in the water it kind of brought it a little bit to life a little bit i thought it did it did it's it's just absolutely amazing i just i I love how it looks i think the last thing i did if you look at the underside of the flowers you'll see i start to add some shadows under there Mm mm-hmm um, and you've got shadows from the trees and the water, too. It's just, reflections. I, I, I love that. All right, now see, reflections. Here comes the <laughs> shadows in the, in the flowers. See them? Oh, they, they're there. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it went really fast. Yeah, there they are. All right, that's it. The picture is on my website, which is LarryWhitler.com. Mm. Take care. Be good. Don't forget to write. Remember, writing is very important. There you go. That's all you need to say. Mm. We're done. Yeah.